What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Chupi Toe. So today, man, I just want to go over something real quick. Um, You know, I know that we are living in a world where it's hard to make money. It's hard to keep up on our bills. It's hard. It's stressful. Yes, I know. But prostitution, ladies, is not the way. It's not the answer, neither. And you may feel offense by what I'm saying, but in reality, I'm only telling you the truth because the truth shall set you free. I want every woman to understand that God has given you, given you, given all women, the ability to create men and women. That's powerful. When God was done with his work, he allowed women to be the ones to continue filling our world up with many more men and women. And what do women do? How do they glorify that? They go out here and they go sell their pussies for $200, $300 an hour or two. And in reality, most of these prostitutes that's doing this, they don't even want to do it. I'm sure some of these prostitutes out here are having sex, looking up in the sky, looking up at the roof, and not even enjoying it. Probably just thinking what they're doing and how disgusted they feel about themselves. And in reality, I'm sorry to say, you should feel disgusted. Like I said, I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help you. I'm here to guide you and, and tell you exactly, you know, what I feel that you're going through. Because trust me, I have an older sister who has been, you know, touched, molested as a kid. She's now just recovering from all that stuff. She's now getting over the hump of leaving no good ass niggas alone. She's starting to realize that the niggas that she's getting drawn to are not really the niggas she wants. This is what she wants in the moment. And that's why I want women to understand that this prostitution is not okay. What you guys are doing is cursing the generations to come. This is not okay. I, I think it's ridiculous how you can go on Facebook or Instagram right now and almost go on any girl's profile. And I guarantee you're going to see something about premium snap, cash app. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous, women. And the, why, and the reason why women are feeling like what they're doing is okay is because men keep promoting it. And that's where us as men, we need to stop. We need to stop thinking about life, about sex all the time. And actually be a friend. And actually guide people and help people with their depressions and their unforgiveness. Because that's why a lot of, of these prostitutes are out here doing what they're doing. Because something down in their lifestyle allowed them to be who they are today. Whether they were touched, whether they were molested, whether they were sexually abused. Something in their life played a role to why they're a prostitute today. And I want those women to understand. Doing prostitution and doing this stuff and making it feel like it's only making it better and helping you get away from your situation. No, it's only pulling you closer to your situation. Allowing you not to even get away from your situation. And I want women to understand and men to understand. Forgiveness is the root and key to everything in life. If you can't forgive, you cannot move on. You cannot be a better person. Forgiveness is the key, people. Forgiveness is the key. And that's why I want all these women out here who's prostituting, who feel like they can't get a man, who don't love themselves for their bodies. Love yourself. And don't let nobody else tell you, you know, differently. Love yourself. Women, look at this. This, I can't believe women think prostitution is okay. I can't think. And, and I know life is hard. We need money. We need bills. But don't allow the world to stress you out where you're doing things that can literally get you killed. A lot of these prostitute women out here don't even realize their life is on the line every time they go to a judge. A lot of these prostitutes out here don't even realize half of all these other prostitute ladies are missing. And you know how they're missing? The government is kidnapping these prostitutes and throwing them in sex rings. Throwing kids in sex rings. Young prostitutes, 18 years old, throw them in sex rings. Kids missing. Prostitutes missing. Come on, y'all. Stay woke. What do you expect much longer when you out there playing in the devil's playground? Women, you guys are our queens. I view, I'm viewing girls right now, women right now, as queens. They're the second creator from God to allow, to be able to, you know, give life to another human being. That is powerful. God gave y'all that tool. And what do y'all do with it? You allow random, just random dicks in that, in your pussy 24-7?
for a couple of dollars, a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, that don't last long. And the majority of these prostitutes got kids. You, you you really want your kids to figure out what happened? Figure out that their kid, their mom probably just died or just died because of prostituting related? Do you really, like, and that's the thing about it. A lot of prostitutes, they'll keep doing it until something bad happens. Don't allow that bad moment to happen for you to realize the truth. Realize it now and do it differently. Because I'm telling y'all, man, this is a sign right here our world is ending if our women are like this. Our women are to the point where they are literally selling their bodies and niggas is really buying into it. Niggas is really supporting this too. And when I say niggas, I don't mean just black people. I mean everybody supporting this. And they got to stop, man. They got to stop. Because the same people out here supporting it be the same people wondering why they can't find nobody loyal. Why they can't find a good person. Just like with these women. They're always talking about they don't need a man. They don't need this. They don't need that. Because they're doing everything good on their own for the moment. But what? When the new world order comes in, the military comes in, try to kick in your door. You're going to wish you had a man to protect you. You're going to realize that this whole time, life and men weren't about dick. It was about love. It was about protecting one another and being there for one another. And this world has completely lost sight of that. I mean, when you just look at our lives, women came, men and women came and stay faithful, came and stay loyal. Nobody came and stay in a relationship within a month without thinking the girl or the guy is cheating. This got to end, people. Prostitution got to end. I care about our women too much to not post this video and say something. Because I'm not saying this to offend any woman who's prostituting. But I want them to understand. I understand your pain. But what you're doing is not going to help the pain. It may numb it, but it's never going to cure it. In order to cure it, you got to leave this prostitution lifestyle alone. And you got to go back and forgive whoever done wrong to you. Even if they don't deserve your forgiveness. Forgive that person. Because I guarantee when you do that, so many more opportunities will come to you. So many opportunities. You're going to realize that. You didn't even need to do this the whole time. And that's all I got to say to our women out there, man. So this is your boy Chupito, man, and I'm out.